All right, you guys, uh, just doing a review for this Blitty PV68 solar panel. Um, this is a really simple solar panel. I'll have a link to it down in the description below. What you need to know is that this is a really simple and low powered solar panel. I would recommend buying this if you're gonna be recharging a mini power station like I'm gonna be doing in this review. I'm gonna be using this uh, PV68 solar panel to recharge this uh, River 2 power station right over here. And so what's included in the box with the panel, um, well, of course you get the panel itself, Right over here, um, you get a warranty card and the manual. So the manual, uh, yeah, just has a bunch of information on how to use the panel in terms of uh, setting it setting it up. Um, and also when it comes to the form factor, the PV68 does have a 35 by 21 inch um, size when it's unfolded. And when you fold it up, it does have a 19 by 21 inch size. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, if you know Blue Eddy, uh, you probably know like what you can expect from their products. I've already done some testing with this uh, solar panel as you've probably seen with my previous video on this uh, solar panel. Um, it's just, you know, a really solid uh, product. In my opinion, I know it's not the most powerful panel that you can buy, but uh, yeah, just taking a look at the front right over here, it does have this uh, fabric cover, fabric outside um, of the panel. Um, it does have a really large handle that makes it easier to carry around. Uh, over on this side or the back, it does have this pouch where you would place the uh, cable that the uh, panel actually uses. And it is a MC4 connector right over here. Um, and so the great thing about this is that you can practically use this panel um, for nearly any like purpose. As long as you have the compatible uh, charging cable to recharge a certain power station, like in this case, uh, since this uses a MC4 connector. I'm going to be using this uh, MC4 to XD60 cable to recharge this uh, Riverdew power station. That's one of the best things about this panel. It just has the MC4 connector. Really simple to use, um, not much to it at all, honestly. And I like it that way when it comes to uh, these kind of products. Um, it does have this kickstand, um, a pretty uh, sturdy kickstand. When I had it outside for my first test, uh, the kickstand held pretty well. Um, it's just that um, part of the panel did fold, like one of these panels like did fold in half. And I just had to like really like put it into the ground a little bit more to make it like actually stand because it was a windy day when I did my first test. So yeah, one of the cool things about the kickstand is that it's adjustable and like, you know, you can actually fix it at a certain angle by using these uh, buttons right over here. Um, so you can actually have it at a pretty uh, straight up angle in this case, or you could have it at a ra rather wide angle. When I set it to this one, you just have to make sure that it goes into the button and uh, yeah everything is like buttoned here that's that's another thing i like about this uh, pv68 solar panel is that like everything's held together by buttons well that might not sound exactly the best or like ideal thing but uh just having having everything held in held by buttons on this uh, type of a small form factor it's just really easy to use um they could use magnets but i prefer the buttons because because these uh, buttons just like hold better than a magnet does um, and yeah, so it's holding, <laughs> and so it's holding the, uh, panel, um, in like this are buttons. <laughs> so I just gotta give it a little bit of force just to unbutton the panel and actually unfold it. Just give me a second, you guys. Oh my God. All right, you guys, I did unbutton the buttons <laughs> using two hands. So exactly. Um, so yeah, using one hand to, uh, unfold this panel. If you have those buttons engaged, is probably not going to be easy. But uh, anyways, you're you're likely going to have two hands free. Um, so yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> so I think this is a monocrystalline um panel, right? Let me just double check on that. Yeah, it is a monocrystalline uh silicone uh panel with a uh, ETFE cell lamination. Um, definitely looks like it with other panels I've reviewed. Uh, that's what it looks like. Um, in uh you know in my testing in my first test the uh, solar recharging for this uh pv68 was pretty good i think i was able to hit like what 55 watts of solar recharging power using this uh ecoflow river 2 power station and that was just really good in my opinion um and in this case i'm gonna head on outside right now i did discharge this uh, river 2 power station down to about seven percent and i'm just gonna it's uh, currently about 12 30 or like 12 o'clock right now i'm gonna leave the uh, panel and the power station outside all day until about like 6 30 when the sun is about to go down to see just how efficient this uh witty solar panel is at uh recharging a mini power station like this um, because this is what you would use this uh type of low wattage solar panel for is recharging a rather mini power station 
this uh, solar panel is obviously not meant to recharge a large high capacity power station like that um, Alpha ESS um, 2203 watt hour power station that I have over there. All right, you guys, so just outside with the Blitty PV68 solar panel, um, I do have it connected to the Sub 2 power station. Uh, the unit does have a 256 watt hour capacity, and I'm currently getting about a uh, 48 watt recharging speed. Pretty clear sky day, no clouds in the sky, but it's pretty cold and windy. Um, and a 48 watt recharge speed from this uh, solar panel is pretty good for a 68 watt solar panel. Uh, I am using the MC4 to XT60 cable because this uh, River 2 does use a XT60 to recharge from a solar panel. And uh, so yeah, this is going to be a more um, full-fledged test. Uh, it's currently like about 12:30. Um, I'm just going to leave the uh, solar panel and the power station outside um, all day until the sun goes down to see how much how much capacity I can actually fill up from the uh, PV68 solar panel. And uh, so yeah, um, I will be right back um, at the end of the day to see how this uh, solar panel performs. And uh, so yeah, I'm um, just taking a look at the panel itself. Just taking a look at the kickstand. I do have it set to a pretty wide angle for a maximum sun exposure. I probably could get better sun exposure if I just laid it flat on the ground because I know the sun's going to be moving and um, of course I think it's going to be best if I keep it at this angle um, basically the whole day. Alright you guys so just a mid solar recharging update for the uh, bloody PV68 solar panel um, and so the reason why I wanted to do this is because I'm actually getting a 66 watt uh, solar recharging speed for the River 2 power station which is well nearly at the max uh, solar output for the uh, Bluetti solar panel and uh, as you can see uh, perfect sun exposure going on right here and uh, so yeah just want to give an update it is about three o'clock st I started this test at about 12 30 I believe um, and I think I started the capacity at like 10 percent currently at 53 percent and uh, so yeah I'm gonna be right back in about probably three hours uh, when the sun is fully down and uh, so yeah there we go um, and also I did have to move the uh, solar panel because uh, I did have it over there um and so then i had to move it over here um but yeah 66 watts um for a 68 watt solar panel um yeah this is really good efficiency um and just taking a look at the panels right over here yeah so really good um solar recharging going on um from blue eddy and uh yeah i'll be right back once the uh sun has gone down or at least close to it all right be right back Alright you guys, so just back at about 6.30 now, um, the sun's just about to go down and the sun exposure on the panels is, well, like, you know, <laughs> barely any. And uh, I do have the River 2 power station at 87%. Solar wattage input is about 15 watts. Um, so I mean, yeah, the uh, sun exposure on the panels isn't much and uh, yeah, this is basically the end of the test, which is why <laughs> yeah, solar recharging is pretty slow right now. Um, so yeah, I mean, we went from about like 10% to 87% with about like six and a half hours of recharging time, about six hours. And uh, so yeah, I mean, with a 68 watt uh, solar panel, um, this uh, PV68 Lady solar panel performed uh, pretty well in my opinion. Um, you know, 68 watts isn't that much, but for a mini power station like this one, it is pretty good. This is what this uh, solar panel is made for, and it performed uh, pretty well in my test at least. That's what I found. Um, oh, there's my cat. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think it performed well in my, in my, in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, so yeah, that is the test for the bloody PV68 solar panel. All right, you guys, so uh, there we go. Uh, that was the solar recharging test for the PV68 um, solar panel uh, from Blue Eddy. Um, you know, recharging this uh, River 2 power station was really nice. Um, I'm pretty sure I could have gotten a better uh, solar recharging test if I just uh, placed the panel in like a really good spot. But you know, throughout the day, the uh, sunlight does move around. And so sun exposure on the panels isn't always optimal. Um, and in this case, I was able to achieve an 87% capacity for the River 2 power station from a 7% uh, capacity, which is really good, you know, considering that I got all the power from the sun. And so, yeah, just my final thoughts uh, for this uh, panel. I did forget to mention that this unit is, uh, I think, splash proof. So the uh, panels can withstand rain, um, but, you know, don't submerge these panels into water. I don't think any panel out there is actually like you know submersion waterproof so uh yeah just keep it out of a lake or whatever a river <laughs> i suppose you could say and i don't know if i mentioned but this is uh, 7.5 pounds so really lightweight and so uh, i actually prefer these type of panels if they could like fit 
uh, 200, 300 watts of uh, solar, solar charging into this small form factor. Um, that would be incredible. Um, maybe that might happen one day. But uh, yeah, these type of solar panels um, are pretty cool. Low wattage, meant for mini power stations. Um, I will have a link to this uh, PV68 solar panel down in the description below. And I will also have the link to the review article over at chargerharbor.com. You can find both those things down in the description below. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I will see you all on the next video, all right? Goodbye.